Hope on is up everyone. Welcome to 2023 to a new year where we are going to level it up. As I talked about my previous video this year, we are focusing on getting away from throwing her down. And this year we're getting into dialing it in. And the most important aspect in the topic of this video is soil testing. And I know nobody watches soil test videos. Nobody watches, especially my, my soil test videos because they are poorly produced in an unfinished basement by a person that, you know, yeah. But I found out last year that when I tried to make well-crafted content, I didn't make any, and I'd rather go back to making better videos. So this one will hopefully be useful for the 300 of you that are going to watch it. Now, soil testing is so important because it is going to tell us exactly what we need to do. And you might be thinking that all this science is complicated. I don't understand it. You don't need to understand it. The people at the lab that you send dirt to and put it through whatever voodoo they do to tell you what's in there, they know what to do and they have the data and research backing up their process to tell you whether or not you have enough, too much, or too little. And then you can make your product applications based off of those things. So I've talked about it before, but my soil test last spring allowed me to realize that I didn't need to put down anything but nitrogen in 2022, and as a result, I saved a ton of money. I saved as much as 80% on my fertilizer applications because of a soil test. And so if you start to think, ah, this is more work, this is more time, this is more money that I have to spend to get this done, well, the whole point of it is it's going to save you more time and more money on the back end. And when we talk about getting a soil test, please let's leave the yard mastery and my soil tests alone. We don't need those, we don't want those. Honestly, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna recommend you go with Waypoint. It's cheap, it's simple and that's all you need to do. It's 10 bucks for the test, and you're like, well, but then I don't get a box to ship it in, and I have to do all that myself. Do you understand how many boxes come to all of our doors every day? Take one of the 30 Amazon packages you got yesterday, grab a Ziploc bag, and put a bunch of dirt in it. Go to Pirate Ship, go to whatever your shipping label du jour is, print yourself a label, drive to your UPS store, and you're good to go. And you can get a fairly simple test because the biggest things that we wanna know are our pH, so we can address that if there's an issue, and P and K. Bonus points if you can get organic matter, but really the first thing we want to address is pH. So if we're going to look at the soil test, it's going to tell us what our pH is. We want to be ideally six and a half to seven, somewhere in there. And again, sulfur and lime applications are not exactly cheap, but if we can get the pH a little bit closer to ideal, it frees up and makes the fertilizer applications we're doing more effective, work better, work how they're intended, thus allowing us to hopefully do less of them to get the results that we want. Then we want NPK, pretty much every test is gonna tell you whether you are low, fine, or high, and then you can apply based on those things. If you're low, obviously we wanna put a fair amount of that nutrient down. If we're right on, we wanna put a little bit down, and if we're high, we can leave that nutrient alone for the year. And then on the last one, it maybe if you get it on the test that's kinda of useful, at least for a planning perspective, is organic matter. Higher organic matter, say three and a half plus percent OM. Now you're going to know that the higher the temperature is, the more that organic matter is working to release nitrogen into the plant. So high organic matter like I have, I'm about five plus, five and a half percent or so. I don't wanna have any slow release or organic based nitrogen in my program because basically what's gonna happen is once it gets hot, that my soil and all that organic material that's in there is going to release a ton of nitrogen we don't want that one as hot in our cool season lawns. Warm season's different. And so how are we going to do that? There's a ton of videos. Just quickly here, what I did. I have a pro plugger. That's like my favorite garden tool that I've bought. It's Amazon for like 35, 40 bucks. Just buy one. If you're gonna start taking care of your yard, it's just such a useful tool to have. Just buy one. I pulled however many cores the tube would hold, which is about six or seven to a six inch depth. Pulled off the little bit of thatch and turf off the top of it. Took the rest of it, broke it up into a box took those six, seven cores, shook them up, actually in a five gallon bucket, shook them up, and then poured it into a bag. For me, I did four tests. So again, where Waypoint and those types of labs are really going to shine over the My Soil Yard Mastery type deal, is this 10 bucks a test. So now I'm splitting my shipping costs over those four tests. So basically for me to do four different areas, golf course, front yard, backyard, side yard, it was like $48 with shipping. That'd be $100 or more on the my soil test. And so as we talk about dialing it in, I'm going to take a little bit more dedicated look as we get into the season. My pH is a little high, so I'm gonna be doing sulfur applications. I can talk about that a little bit and talk about how I'm gonna be approaching developing a fertilizer plan based on the fact that I need some phosphorus and potassium this year, how, I'm gonna, how and when I'm gonna build that in. And you can use this information to your benefit to dial in what you're doing in your yard to hopefully in the long run, save your money, save your time, 
save your wasted applications and wasted nutrients, save the environment in that even. If we're throwing down a bunch of phosphorus that we're never going to see the plant utilize, that's really bad and even worse if you're close to waterways so we become more environmentally friendly. All of this gets better if you can convince yourself to go out and do a soil test. So please leave any questions you have in the comments. And as we get into the season, I'll try to address those as best as I can. Again, I'm not an expert or a scientist in this field, but based on my understanding and how I approach these things, as well as conversations that I have had with smarter people than I, and we can all get better at this together. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here and you want to follow along to everything I'm doing here in our lawn. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.